Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm on my way to Alamogordo to check on a tow dolly. And this is, uh, we're right now, we're on the Mescalero Apache Reservation near Ruidoso. We're just passing through it and we'll head out of here and go towards Tularosa. And you know, don't count Tularosa out as a home base destination. It's a neat little town and it's only 10 miles from Alamogordo. Right now we're probably, oh, I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna say we're probably 35 miles from Alamogordo here. But uh, there's the main entrance to the end of the Mountain Gods Casino, which is run by the Mescalero Apaches. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. It's got a lake and a golf course and all kinds of stuff. But uh, anyway, let's just touch on RVing briefly here. Uh, for those of you that are out there on the road, you're probably maybe running into some issues finding a good place to camp, particularly in the southwest and west due to forest fires and stuff. And it occurred to me as I was driving along here, what, you know, what are some of the changes that have really occurred as far as RV lifestyle? basically are one of the biggest changes uh, other than the increase in, in the numbers is we have a lot more information than we had in the 1990s and the early 2000s. I mean now uh, you get uh, you go on YouTube you can find anything you know you can see a video of the area that you're going to uh, I guarantee you if you can spell it you can find it and that's good and bad. That's a two-edged sword because what you're getting is the opinions of people that are there. Now, the question is, uh, are they having a good experience or a bad experience? And what are they relating to you? Because you'll watch it and you may come away with a negative feeling toward the area or the resort or the state park or whatever. Uh, when in reality, uh, it might have been an issue with the people that did the YouTube video. But there are so many uh, YouTubers out there now doing uh, videos on everything that, you know, all I got to say is just, you know, watch two or three and then put together your own opinion. This will be a short video. Why? Well, because my phone is in the direct sunlight. It'll cut off here in a minute anyway. But this is a part of the Lincoln National Forest. It is a beautiful drive. And this is on the way from Ruidoso. If you were gonna to go to Cloudcroft, you would take this highway about, I don't know how far it is out of Ruidoso. It's only about 35, 40 miles to Cloudcroft from Ruidoso. In fact, I'm gonna come back that way from Alamogordo. I'll come up the mountain to Cloudcroft. And I'll do another video uh, of that, climbing the mountain. And, uh, and some other things if I think of it. But for you guys that are out, out there RVing now, I wish you the best uh, because I know that gasoline prices and other things are on your mind. And all I can tell you is that based on my experience is uh, number one, don't get in a hurry. You know, have you a backup site uh, wherever you're going, maybe two, uh, you'll never regret that. Uh, because you'll get to a spot it'll either be full or closed who knows but having said that guys from on the way from Ruidoso New Mexico to Tularosa and then Alamogordo on the Apache Mescalero Apache Indian Reservation or passing through it this is Rusty 78609 saying thumbs up guys carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it, use the Amazon link, doesn't cost you a penny, and get out and take a drive. You know, there's nothing wrong with, the elevation here shows to be 7,591 feet. It's called Apache Summit. And, uh, you know, it's beautiful in here, man. It is, if you're in the forest, you got, you'll got you love this area, and you'll love Cloudcroft, cause, and Ruidoso, because they're right in the middle of a National Forest, Lincoln National Forest. So anyway, stand guard at the door of your mind. Keep your health the best you can. And uh, you know, the flavor of life is variety. Uh, 
does cruising around in your car in your own area add a little variety? Sure it does, because the area you live in, uh, whether you know it or not, is changing every day. Uh, you know, you'll drive down the street, you've been down a hundred times, all of a sudden you'll say, well, I never noticed that before. You know, or whatever. I know I do, of course. I may be different from everybody else in the universe. I don't know. But anyway, enjoy your day, guys. Isn't this pretty, though? I mean, it's just so nice. I'm driving 55 miles an hour, getting 46.3 miles a gallon in my Chevy Spark 2022 automatic. And, no, this is great, man. I enjoy the hell out of this. And I'll come back through Cloudcroft and get me a BLT at Dave's and, uh, you know, downtown on Burrow Street. And on and on it goes, man. Yeah, I'm going to do some of these drives. Rather than drive the motorhome, I'll just take some drives like this and, and uh, enjoy it. Because, hell, there's nothing to this, man. Yeah, I've got me a little snack. You know, no hurry. Sheesh. Life's good, guys. It's good if you make it good. It's up to you. So look at that view. Is that nice? I think it is. Adios. Bye-bye.